Welcome to The Update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. The stepdaughters of an Iranian refugee who killed their mother disposing of her body in a vat of acid fear he'll come after them if he's released from detention. Tony Kelisar could be freed after the High Court ruled indefinite detention as unlawful. Already 27 of the 84 people released have committed crimes classed as very serious. The Israeli war cabinets agreed to allow two fuel trucks a day into Gaza. An Israeli official said the delivery was to help meet the needs of the UN. But Oxfam's Busha Khalidi says it's not enough. Of course this is welcomed, but it's it's still crumbed in relation to the desperate need of 2.2 million people, the desperate need of hospitals and of bakeries and of water wastewater treatment plants and power plants and all other um, civilian infrastructure that need a Tasmanian business has been charged over a 2021 Bouncing Castle tragedy where six school children were killed. The Hillcrest Primary School students had been in the Bouncing Castle when it was picked up by a wind gust and hurled through the air. The operator Tazorb has now been charged with failing to comply with the health and safety duty following a WorkSafe investigation. New data shows fewer young Australians are drinking alcohol as school leavers flock to the Gold Coast for schoolies. Drinkwise data found 67% of people aged between 18 and 24 don't like ruining the day with excessive drinking. Chief Executive Simon Strawn says the figures could mean schoolies is celebrated differently this year. A lot of the kids are actually opting for things like smoothies and going out for breakfast as opposed to um, being hungover. And so we have seen that change. Um, And that is a real emphasis in terms of making sure that those experiences and opportunities are available to them. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and Ferrari's Charles Leclerc topped second practice ahead of the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. I like the truck. Uh, it's uh, it's fun to drive. I always like street trucks, but this one is, uh, is a good one. Uh, we look quite strong for now. Difficult to understand exactly where we are in race pace, but uh, in terms of quality pace, we seem strong. In entertainment news, Australian-made cartoon Bluey has been turned into a video game. Vince Grogan from Outright Games says fans of the show will be able to explore the Healer home as well as a few other locations. We've got the Healer house, we've got uh, the, the, the gardens and the outside of the house, uh, the playgrounds. Creek. And more than 130,000 fans are attending Coldplay's only Aussie concerts in Perth this weekend, around 40,000 of them making the trip west from other states. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update.